My uh, subscribers and other people just happen to wander by, welcome to another beer review. Kiss the Goat Black Doppelbach by Gigantic Brewing out of Portland, Oregon. From what you could tell, the brewery has been around since about 2012. This is the bottle right here. Pretty strange, but I guess it works. On the side of the bottle here, it says, A Doppelbach and Blackened. Perfect for midnight masses, dancing naked in the moonlight, and malevolent altars. Turn up the sons of Huns, which is a band. Toast the to dark, now turn and kiss the goat. The website pretty much says the same thing, with the addition of, We originally brewed Kiss the Goat with Sons of Huns, a band, for the 2013 Malt Ball in Portland. The beer was so damn good and well received that we brewed it again and again. A Doppelbach is a stronger version of traditional Bach that was first brewed in Munich, by the Polymer Friars. Here's a brief story I just read, uh, even though it's too blurry, but that's what it was. This beer looks like it's been around since 2016. I'm not sure if this is a seasonal or all year round. My guess this is probably seasonal. The website doesn't say. This bottle cost me, I believe, $4. They don't give any clues what's in the beer at all. It's probably Pilsner malt, something to black it up, like a toasted malt, a dark roasted malt, like a midnight wheat, or a black patent. I'm gonna guess the flavors in this are probably gonna be rich caramel, dark fruit, toffee, maybe a little bit toasted. And they say in here too, that it has a rich toasting bready character with some chocolate finish, at least medium, probably full body. This is 8% alcohol. I don't know the IBUs. I know what a Doppelbach typically is. A black Doppelbach is not that common. Usually they are a very dark mahogany or brown. Doppelbachs are German in nature, heavy lager, higher alcohol. A Bach is a strong, darker lager. Doppelbach means even higher in alcohol. Black just means instead of being normally dark mahogany, deep brown, it's black. The flavors for these tend to be malt forward, very rich caramel toffee. They may be clean with a flavor profile, but that crisp and bright because their dark beers generally don't have that characteristic, that mouthfeel. It is jet black. Can't see through it all. Until the head there is pretty thin. It's dying down to paper thin now. An off-white, maybe a tan. That's what I see as well. Just not a lot there. Black. It's very light roast. Almost like hints of coffee. No sweetness. It makes me think of coffee that sat out overnight that's very weak. There may be a little bit of malt in the background. They're saying toasty and bready malt aroma. I agree with the toasty, not the bread. Covers about 70 to 80% of the top of my mouth. Very little on my tongue. Toasted, but not really roasted. It tastes like a larger percentage of a dark black malt. It's just clinging the roof of my mouth. It won't let go. Full body all the way around. No malty backbones, not sweet. I taste a deep bittered black malt, such as midnight wheat, although it may not be that. I don't taste any bread, cracker, grain, no bitterness at all to it. There's no sweetness, candy, no toffee, caramel, burnt sugar, no dark fruit, nothing I would normally taste from a Doppelbach. They claim rich toasty bread malt aroma and flavor, sole chocolate finish. Now, I get rich toasted, no bread, no chocolate at all. There might be just the slightest touch of a sweetness in the background. That roasted toasted flavor is just dominant. Now, it's not a punch in the face, but it supersedes everything else. What this honestly reminds me of is after somebody's let a cup of coffee sit out overnight or even several hours. As far as the lager characteristics, crisp, clean, and bright. This is not crisp, it's not clean, it's not bright. Not super rich. It's not smooth or creamy. The mouthfeel is thick. 
and chewy. I imagine the recipe for this is honestly probably pretty simple. There's just no character here besides that debittered black malt. That's all I taste. It still coats my mouth the same way. 80, 90% up there, very little on my tongue. It still tastes like debittered black malts, those heavy toasted flavors, maybe hints of roasted. It sticks around for a decent amount of time. It slowly fades away. I still don't get any malt, bread, biscuit, any chocolate, nothing else. No toffee or caramel, I don't get any of those flavors out of dark malts. Still tastes full body. There's no bitterness at all. It's still thick and chewy. Those dark malts are pretty heavy. Not rich, smooth, or creamy. Between the glass and the bottle, I can't tell any difference. They taste the same. As far as the longer characteristics, as with the glass, uh, not crisp, clean, or bright. This does not even slightly taste like a Doppelbach. Monique didn't make the full video with me, as you can tell, but I gave her a sample out of the bottle and told her what I think of it so far, but she made some good comments I want to include. I think it tastes like a stout, but if you read the label saying a black Doppelbach, you have your taste buds set for it, it can be disappointing. Between the bottle and the glass, I can't really tell any difference. There's, they taste the same to me. There's no diacetyl, no astringency. Well, okay, there's astringency, but that's from a dark malt. No chemical flavors like paint thinner, acetone. The bottle's not skunked from sunlight. No rubber plastic band-aids. Not medicinal in any way, no fusel alcohols. Would I buy this again? Absolutely not. It does not even slightly resemble a Doppelbach. Would I recommend it? No, I would not. Not impressive. Don't like it. The flavors are basic, bland, too much toasted in it. I think they failed with this one. We're not impressed. Don't like it at all. Not a good representation of the style. Gigantic Brewing out of Portland, Oregon, Kiss a Goat, Black Doppelbach. If you have any comments, feedback, anything you want to add about this beer, uh, yeah, send it my way. That's all I have for this review. Cheers! So apparently they're naming the, the this show. Okay. There is a. God damn it! <sighs> this is not even. Alright, folks, that's all I have for. Fuck!